Here's what the Lord Jesus says in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, and verses 37 and 40. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. This is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. This word is massive. Jesus says that if you put your trust in him, he will never turn you away. He's not going to look at you and think you aren't good enough. Why? Because trusting in him means trusting that his sacrifice on the cross paid the price of your sin in full. So when you put your trust in Jesus, when he looks at you, he sees himself. He sees his covering over you. And you can be sure that the covering of his sacrifice is plenty good enough to forgive any sin you may have committed. That's the power of the blood of Jesus. He will in no way push you away. Let's go on because it gets even better. The author of John's Gospel, yes, that will be the Apostle John, wrote to believers in the early church. This is what he said in his first letter, chapter 4 and verse 9. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. The Almighty Father sent Jesus into the world to save sinners and show God to us, so we might live through him. Jesus, we believe, was God in the very beginning, and he became one of us. He was born of a woman to preach the gospel, to perform miracles of healing, and to raise the dead. Above all, he was born to go to the cross and give his life to save you. And if you put your trust in him, he won't cast you out. I'm just reminding you, there's more of a promise on its way. Everyone who sees Jesus, the Son of God, and believes in him will have everlasting life. That's not everlasting life as in the Hindu or Buddhist religions, everlasting groundhog day or perpetual rebirths. No, we are born and we die just the once. So this is abundant, forgiven, powerful life in Jesus, both in the here and now, and also forever, even after death. So whoever comes to Jesus will never be turned away. You think you aren't good enough? His goodness will cover you. You reckon your life has been too bad? Nothing shocks him. You say your sins are too massive? Don't flatter yourself. There's no sin he cannot forgive. No, forget the so-called unforgivable sin. That was never denying the Holy Spirit. It was ascribing to Satan the miracles of Jesus. No one has committed that particular sin since Jesus left this earth and went to heaven. So Jesus will forgive you your sins, and once you know his forgiveness, stay close, keep in fellowship with him, and he'll protect you. Okay, if you haven't put your trust in Jesus yet, now's your opportunity. Here's the Apostle John again in chapter 5 and verse 11 of his letter. And this is the record that God hath given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. If you believe in Jesus, he won't turn you away, and if you don't, just what are you waiting for?